There's a setting on your camera that you can switch between NTSC and PAL. But what does it mean? NTSC stands for National Television Standard Committee. It's an analog color encoding system that's used in DVDs and up until recently, television broadcasting in North America. PAL stands for Phase Alternating Line. It's another color encoding system for analog TVs. It's used in DVDs and Blu-rays, and it was designed in the 1950s in Germany. Now there's a lot more to the history of NTSC and PAL, but I'm not gonna go into that. I'm just gonna tell you how it affects you and your footage. When you change between NTSC and PAL, it changes the frame rate at which your camera can record. In PAL, you'll get 25, 50, and 100 frames per second. If your camera shoots at faster frame rates, it'll be multiples of 25. In NTSC, you'll get multiples of 30. So you'll have 30, 60, and 120 frames a second. This is actually 29.97 frames per second and multiples of that. But they've rounded it up in the menus to multiples of 30. And I think this is just to make the menus look a little bit tidier. But when filming, you need to keep your frame rates consistent. If you shoot at 25 frames a second, you need to keep your timeline at 25 frames a second and your output file at 25 frames a second. You can use faster rates like 50 and 100, but they need to be multiples of 25. If you chop and change this about, say if you shoot in NTSC or at 30 frames a second, and you bring it into a 25 frame a second timeline, you'll start to get jitter in your footage. The frame rates also coincide with power and lighting refresh rates. If your camera is out of sync with the lights that you're using, you'll sometimes get a strobing or a flickering effect in your footage. In North America and parts of South America, the lighting system is set at 60 Hertz. This corresponds with the NTSC areas where the frame rates are multiples of 30. So with a frame rate of half the refresh rate, you know your camera will be in sync with the lighting system that you're using. In Europe, the lighting refresh rate is at 50 Hertz. So if you were to set your camera at 25 frames a second, this is half the refresh rate. Again, your camera would be in sync with the lighting system and you'd be less likely to get flicker in your footage. But if you're shooting in NTSC mode at 30 frames a second with a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second and your footage is strobing, you might need to switch over to PAL. On the other hand, if you're shooting in PAL mode at 25 frames a second at 1 50th of a second shutter speed and you're getting the strobing, you might need to switch over to NTSC. Beware though, if you've already got footage on your SD card and you want to switch from PAL to NTSC or vice versa, and you're shooting with Sony cameras, it will format your SD card. So make sure you put in a new SD card before you switch over. So the NTSC PAL selector changes the frame rates that are available to you. And this in turn changes how the lights may look in your footage. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, head over to my YouTube channel where I have a library of photography and videography tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.